when we ask about motivation for a shooter like this, it's got to do with macro processes, very large scale mo processes, his frustrations with what's going on, and particularly with the government. Now, why the government? I think that's got largely to do with the narratives that are being pushed by the media and by the politicians themselves. So when the politicians rant and rave about how terrible it is that uh, somebody could shoot um, security people right in a central place in the United States, uh, they should think back to their own rhetoric and what they've been saying about government. If you look in the United States, trust in government has been declining. Frustration with the central government, the federal government, has been increasing. And this is across party lines. For different reasons, people are at the moment frustrated with the federal government. And uh, as I said, th this is being uh, exaggerated by the politicians themselves. Because when they run for office, the first thing they do is say they are anti-Washington and they are anti-government. When you've got a higher level of frustration, lower level of trust in government, l higher level of suspiciousness about government, plus all these politicians slamming the government every day, you're going to have a climate in which some individuals will be likely to carry out their frustrations and attack the government physically.